The first time I heard about MIGMIT was on a post on Facebook. Uh, it was um, talking about uh, Move Your uh, program. It's a mobility program who started with Migration Mitteinander in Germany. And they were looking for people in Paris to create a group of young people who are interested in this and to, um, uh, to talk more about um, uh, opportunities for refugees inside Germany, particularly for people who are living in France. So I first um, started with young people from um, Paris region. Uh, we were actually seven people and then we were writing um, research and looking for other people to have a kind of network and to create an organization. But in the end, we didn't because we didn't get the fund for this, unfortunately. So I left because I was also preparing for um, um, Paris Bar exam, so I wasn't too uh, invested in it. And um, after two years, um, just in the summer of uh, August 2021, uh, I got the opportunity to move to Germany to do a voluntary service. And that's just how <laughs> I, I got this opportunity because I was still in the network of uh, MIGMIT. Um, in the beginning, I was um, a little bit afraid to, to have this kind of experience, to be in another country that I don't know and with the pandemic and to have to work in the same place with people that um, uh, also maybe are without masks. <laughs> I was too, too sceptic about it. But I, I think, um, sorry, I, I was thinking about it a lot and in the end, uh, I just... Um, uh, had a kind of um, balance and I chose to, to have this experience because uh, I want to go out of my comfortable zone, let's say, and to learn um, German. I started to learn German when I was at school, but I forgot a lot. Uh, and also the experience to, to meet new people, um, to have this kind of cultural exchange, but also to do something who is really good for people, not just um, uh, watching what others are doing and not having the opportunity to do anything. I don't like to have just uh, theoretical things because I have a um, legal background, but actually I didn't really um, enter in the practical world, let's say. Um, so that's it, I think, about my experience or how I, I got this opportunity. If I choose to, um, to work with MIGMIT, it's because I didn't really um, study anything related to human rights and refugees' rights. Uh, it was just about uh, business law and I didn't really feel myself in the corporate world. And um, I don't feel um, that I'm doing uh, a positive, uh, direct impact to people. Uh, even if, uh, of course, it's something positive to, to have a good economy and things like this, but it's not really what I'm, I'm feeling myself in. Maybe I will work in it, but um, I want to do something um, uh, with that work. So this experience for me is like uh, something who will um, enable me in the future to, to do something uh, that I'm really passionate about it, I mean, and in the same time that I feel that um, I can improve uh, something for people, um, not, um, how to say it, just business oriented, I mean, it could be both also. Maybe I, I, I can start a project, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. So um, in the beginning, I was a little bit lost in the association because uh, I saw a lot of projects and uh, I didn't remember everything. So I was keeping asking every time, what is this about and if I have to work on it? So in the beginning, I didn't really work on everything because of course uh, it wasn't really feasible for someone who is new to the association and to the structure of it. So with time, uh, step by step, I learned everything and I found out that every project is really linked to the other uh, for the same purpose in the end, of course, to support uh, the mobility of refugees uh, in Europe. And for now, it's mainly for um, 
um, refugees and young migrants coming from uh, other countries uh, inside Europe to Germany, because Germany is the country that we know best for now. We, but we, of course, we have also um, a partnership with um, an association in Italy, it's uh, universal. Um, so what I liked uh, in the association is that you can learn from everything and you will find out in the end what you really like to work on it. For example, um, we have um, um, once per month to write articles for the newsletter. So we have two newsletters, one uh, more local, let's say, uh, in German and in English for uh, the association for Migration Tainada. And the other one is for Move Europe. So it's for Move Europe program. And this is the program for mobility for refugees and people with migrant background in general. Um, so I really liked it. In the beginning, I was a little bit afraid to, to have this kind of responsibility because I'm also um, coordinating one of these um, um, newsletters, uh, the one for Move Europe, and I did really like it because I have to, to make sure that everything is well, also to, to proofread sometimes, to be sure that the newsletter will be perfect in the end, and also to, to check if everything is on time. Um, it gives you a kind of responsibility, so it's good to, to share this. Um, in the other part, I can say also that sometimes um, when you feel uncomfortable about something, you can say it. You can say that you don't like to do this thing, so you will just uh, talk with your team and someone else will just um, take the task from you. And you can also always say that you, you are open to support anyone and it's, it's just about communication in the end. And we have a sort of evaluation at the end of the week. So we say wh what, was, wh what went good and what was a little bit bad or really bad and we have to improve it. So it's really good because we have some tips and feedback and it helps us to, to improve. So it's getting better and better in the end. Um, overall, I think it's a good experience because I learned a lot, a lot of things that I didn't know and skills that I didn't know that I have. <laughs> and also uh, to be part of the legal help desk for me is from something that is really important because of my legal background. I really like it. It's a passion for me.